welcome to another video for the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool check out the Blackpool Tower in this video we're going to be checking out Weatherspoons the Velvet Coaster it's on South Promenade and get a real there. job what get a real job <laughs> get a real job get a real job what is this what you do for a job is this what we do for a job hey if you don't understand what we're talking about look at the end of the last video it was comical these two my dad would have called you know what my dad would have called him he would have called him uh, i'm trying to think of the word well I, I would say buffoons but my dad would have said uh, my dad would have said i'm going to dub this bit out my dad would have said the idiot but there you go so anyway in today's vlog I've got my iron brew uh, not a, not a tin of beer i've got an iron no, brew no. Now there were a couple of beer monsters, I think, weren't they? So I think when it if they're going to ask you to get a proper job, I think they need to take a look at themselves first. So there you go. Anyway, on that bombshell, in today's vlog, my friends, we are going to the Velvet Coaster to Weatherspoons, but we're going to have a little bit of fun first because that, having a real having a real job, you don't have any fun, but when you're doing YouTube, you have plenty of fun. So especially when you've got a special guest star like this. Because, do you remember at Christmas, I put you on a ride, didn't I? And everyone had a go at me. They were like, I can't believe it. I'm unsubscribing. You put Stephen on a ride. You were terrible to him. It wasn't that bad, was it? It was kind of all for a bit of fun, really, wasn't it? Yeah. Look all them starlings up there. You're on about that. Wow. Blind me. We'll get some of that. My word. Anyway, uh, we'll show you this in a minute. Um, if you're new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to Stephen as well. He is a walk on the wild side. He is Mr. Blackpool. If you like Blackpool, you'll already know who he is. If you don't know who he is, head over and subscribe. Channel's on the end. We're going to have some fun. We're going to take you guys with us. It's New Year. I'm in a good mood. I'm actually in a really good mood. Sea air, sunshine, and yeah. the, well, sunset. Nice weather as well. Yeah. yeah. And remember, west is, is best. best. Anyway, on that bombshell, my friends, let's go. Right, so we're going to be sensible for a minute. So what are all these starlings? Why are they here? I mean, look at them. It's mad they're all doing all the different patterns. And they are they here every night of the year? Yeah, the starlings at the North Pier is probably the next best thing after the sunsets in Blackpool. We talked about the sunsets in Blackpool, West is best. But we also get an amazing natural show of the starlings murmuring over the North Pier. And they seem to love the North Pier, probably because it's the biggest pier in Blackpool and you get so many, you can get tens of thousands of starlings flocking to the north here. And the reason we get more in the winter is because a lot of the starlings that migrate north in the summer, they come back in the winter and we can get tens of thousands of them. And they put on a spectacular show right there at the North Pier. Blimey, just at the North Pier or any other? Well, they go through all the other piers as well. They go to the Central Pier and the South Pier and they even go to St. Anne's Pier, anywhere where they can roost. But the North Pier, because it's the biggest pier in Blackpool, you tell, this is where you get the best displays of the, the starlings. Oh, fantastic. And that's at sunset every night? Sunset every night, yeah. When, whenever the sun sets, that's when you'll see them. Brilliant. Get yourself down and have a look. I can see them up there. Look at them up there! Whoa! <laughs>
It's like Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, isn't it? It's, it's, it's scary, isn't it, watching all these birds? Because we were here 15 minutes earlier and there was nothing, was there? There was a few seagulls. And now it's absolutely full of starlings. It's mental, isn't it? I'm just thinking, who's going to clean off all the poo that there is? <laughs> on the North Pier, they must have a bit of a job cleaning up all the poo. <laughs> It's madness though, isn't it? It's, it's amazing, isn't it? An amazing natural show that you can watch here in Blackpool this winter as well as the sunset. Absolutely incredible, isn't it? I tell you what though, we need to move because we're going to take you on a fairground ride and then I think you're going to go for a mixed grill at Spoons uh -huh. because it's been a while since you've eaten, hasn't it? <laughs> it's been about 20 minutes, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting hungry already. <laughs> Every time I come to Blackpool, I'm like, do you want to eat? Do you want to eat? It'll probably be another hour before we eat, so we're all right. <laughs> what have you got for supper tonight? I'll have to walk it off. <laughs> walk on the wild supper. Side. I think I'll skip supper. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be skipping anywhere at this rate. Come on, onwards. Right, come on, let's have a bit of fun. I'm gonna get my other camera out. I'm gonna come on with you this time. No tricks, and we're gonna get on there and uh, see what it's like. Might as well, we've just had fish and chips, so we might as well go on it and see what it's like. Get <laughs> fun around before we go and take you for a mixed grill at Weatherspoons. Are you up for it? Come on, say yeah. I'll probably throw up my fish and chips, so oh. then I'll be ready for the mixed grill. <laughs> <laughs> throw it over the side, not in my direction. Come on. Oh, hang on, we've got sirens. It's kicking off in Blackpool. He said it. Here we go. <laughs> it's a police van. Hey. Here we go. How are you doing? Yes, I'm all right. Hey. Okay. Oh, police, there we go. I'll tell you what, by the way, Stephen, 
you got me back with that ride. I did, yeah. I'm not that. It was, I was a little bit apprehensive, I've got to say. Is it raining now? It started, started, to, raining. started raining now. At least we weren't up there when it was raining. Right, I think we need a, a mixed grill now. Have you worked <laughs> up an appetite? Well, hopefully we will have done by the time we get there. We've still got a bit of a walk, haven't we? Got a bit of a mile to go, so uh, the golden mile. So come on, onwards, my friends. Right, Stephen, you are a walk on the wild side. So, why not take me to somewhere in Blackpool? Now, you've taken me to scary places before and dangerous places before, right? Where it, you don't go down. However, you took me down in the daytime and like any murder movie or any movie like that, scary horror movie, is never in the daytime. So, can you take me somewhere at nighttime where it's dangerous? Yeah, I've got a couple of places in mind that I think, oh, I'll tell you what, they're a little bit scary, especially at night. So let's go and check them out. Walk on the wild side, come on. Yeah, so we're heading towards the old central Blackpool police station and it's been closed for about five or six years now. The police moved to a new headquarters on the edge of town. And in the meantime, this place is going to wreck and ruin because it's set for demolition for an all new entertainment complex here in Blackpool. But it's gonna be a long time before that happens. And in the meantime, it's starting to crumble, it's graffiti, there's all sorts of stuff going going on. There's been kids vandalising the place and it looks a little bit post-apocalyptic. Lots a bit uh, lots a bit wild around here, doesn't it? Yeah, we're at the foot of the old Blackpool central police station and uh, as you can see we've got a load of murals and graffiti around here i believe that the murals were commissioned after this place was left empty just to I suppose, make it look a bit pretty i, I suppose and uh, this is the building up here i don't know if you can see that but the, it's, it's a bit of a concrete monster really from the 60s it was designed by a chap called roger booth who was very notorious for building police stations up here in the north of England and that were kind of had like that typical 60s brutalist look to them and I believe that uh, at the time there was a bit of a bit of you know um, uh, World War 3 element to it you know the bomb that sort of thing that could have happened and I believe that they built the police stations to survive a nuclear bomb or something like that because they're, they're just concrete uh, monsters Who's calling? <laughs> Go on. Right, Stephen. So you've brought me to Blackpool's most dangerous area for a mixed grill at Weatherspoons. Where are we going to now? I'm not sure if it's the most dangerous, but it certainly looks pretty dangerous. You know, with all this graffiti and all this bits of concrete falling to bits, and you know, all the abandonment of it as well, because it's been empty now for about six years, and it's pretty scary, I'd say. Most, the, most abandoned, dangerous <laughs> areas. This is great for the thumbnail, by the way. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead up up there. There's graffiti, there's all sorts, but I'm going to let Stephen explain what it's all about because I'm not really that gender up on Blackpool other than Blackpool Rock and Blackpool Tower and where all the chippies are. So come on, onwards. Oh, wow. I think we've got like a <laughs> massive flood here. <laughs> it's like a swimming pool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so here it is, just behind me. Now we've got the old Central Police Station. Like I say, Roger Booth, look him up. He was a very notorious architect. What were they thinking back in the 60s when they built these places? It's a bit like the old council estates, isn't it? You know, they built them. Like concrete jungles with all these walkways and all that sort of thing, where criminals and that could disappear, you know, down, down these places and the police couldn't catch them. And then, I think it was completed about 1970, something like that, and now they're knocking it down. And the way that it was built, it, it seems like it was built forever. And yet they're going to knock it down for this new entertainment uh, complex. It's absolutely flooded here, look. <laughs> I think it might get a bit wet there. <laughs> look at all the graffiti here as well. 
Look at that graffiti there, look at that. Yeah. And who's this guy here? He looks a bit sad. He looks a bit, I'm not surprised he looks a bit sad. With all this graffiti, look at this. Right. So there you go. We risked life and limb on Blackpool's most dangerous streets on an evening, it's a long title, for a mixed grill at Weatherspoons. Kind of loses it at the end, doesn't it? It's like we risked our life and limb for a mixed grill at Weatherspoons. Anyway, come on, onwards. <laughs> hey, I found a nice place for an Airbnb. Check this place out. Hey, look at that. Come on. Hey, got some nice carriage to this place. Look at that. Nice entrance there, look. Eh? Nice little entrance. Nothing wrong with a pallet. That, I reckon, is a doer-upper. What do you reckon? That would look great. Look at that. Nice windows. Just a lick of paint, that's all it needs. And some glass. And some demolition. I tell you what, we've met some characters tonight, haven't we, on the way. <laughs> we won't say exactly and all about it, but one of them basically uh, was from Nottingham and he can't go back to Nottingham <laughs> because of certain reasons, uh, which was down that street. And he said that Blackpool basically was a poo hole, uh, uh, in <laughs> but worse words, and I uh, don't have to bleep it out. And I said, oh, where are you off to? Then he went, oh. Manchester, I thought, that'll do it then, yeah, a lot better. Um, so, uh, <laughs> and, uh, I, you know what, I'm, I'm actually quite glad we're here. I we, am. We survived. We survived. Yeah. Then we got stopped by somebody else, and then somebody else who was shouting behind us. It has been a bit of a dangerous journey to get to the Velvet Coaster, all for a mixed grill. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to have. I'm not having a mixed I'm not a massive fan of a mixed grill because you've got Gowan on there, which is a bit salty. Not keen on that. So we'll see. I'm going to film the mixed grill, mark it out of 10. You guys can mark it out of 10. You can mark it. You've not had a mixed grill since right. Tenerife. When I was in Tenerife, it must be about 15 years ago. It was the last time I had a mixed grill. Wow. Right. What was it like? Oh, it was really good. Was it? Yeah. This is going to have to do something to be better than that, I'm telling you. What? Ooh. Spoons? <laughs> Spoon getting dripped on here. Let's get into spoons. <laughs> And let's get get there and eat. I'm gonna have a coke because I've got to drive back down to Mansfield to the office tonight, and then back up to Leeds because I've got on Friday. I have got a uh, what do you call it? Not the theatre. What is it? Where they do a panto? panto. I've got a panto to oh, go to. Ah, I've got. Oh no, you haven't. Oh yes, <laughs> I have. He's got it eventually. Come on. <laughs> Right, well, here we are inside Weatherspoons, and there is an issue. There is no mixed grill. They've took the steaks off of the menu. Um, I'm not sure why, but we're going to make the most of it because we're going to have a check out of the menu. There's burgers, there's pub classics. I think we'll skip the fish and chips, though, as we've had that today already. There is scampi, uh, there's curries. There's... Actually, do you know what? A Weatherspoons curry, controversial, I actually quite like. I'm just putting it out there. Uh, there's also a spicy one, which I might I might go for, but we shall see. There's pizzas, jacket potato. Anyway, I'll tell you what, have a look at the menu myself, me yourself, my friends. Right, so <laughs> we just have, I'm having a giggle because 
Stephen says, I think I'll go for a curry. It's a, it's a while since I've had a curry. And I said, do you like a spicy curry? He says, I think so. Uh, and I said, well, a chicken gel phrase is going to be the hottest one. That's a three chilli per hot curry there. Um, so you can have that with an alcoholic beverage for 12.85 or a soft drink for 11.16. I'm a lightweight, so I'm just going to go for chicken tikka masala, and I do like a chicken tikka masala. Um, th that comes with does that what does that come with? With basmati pilau rice, a naan, and poppadoms. Uh, so I think I could go for that. Uh, but you're going to go for the jal frazi, I think. I'm going to pass you over to Stephen and. Uh, I'm gonna let him uh, let you know what he's gonna have. There's, there's, I'm shocked that they've took the steak off and everything. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless to be fair. I don't, I don't, what, what do you think, Stephen? Yeah, so we've come here to Weatherspoon's Velvet Coaster and we've come past all these amazing and interesting characters <laughs> through some of the worst places in Blackpool for a mixed grill and when we get here there's no mixed grill so what we're we gonna do so what I thought I'd do I said Lee said to me what do you want and I said I think I'll try an Indian now I'm not big on Indian food me but I'm prepared to give the chicken jow phrasing a try so we'll, we'll see how we go with that then shall we are you shocked that the steak's not on? I, I am shocked of taking them off the menu altogether yeah there's no steak on the menu there's no mixed grill can you give me a shock to face for the Right, well, let me just tell you, I've had the chicken jar frazy and it blows your head off. <laughs> and I told Stephen, I said, you'll be all right. It's fine. It's really mild. It's Weatherspoons. So this is going to be amusing. So keep an eye on. I'm cruel. Right, so I'm just getting uh, Stephen's tea for him, the lady behind the bar there. They've seen my videos before from when I've been here before. And uh, I said, the jar frazy. I said, um, it's not spicy, is it? And she went, yeah, it's spicy. I said, uh, all right, I've told him it's not spicy. And she went, do you want me to change it? I said, oh no, leave it as it is. And uh, she said, are you sure it's really hot, really spicy? I went, yeah, yeah, leave it as it is. It'll make for a better video. She went, I'm tuning in for this one. So this is going to be funny. Oh my word. <laughs> I get him back for that, uh, <laughs> that fairground ride. <laughs> Come on. Right, so the food's arrived. Stephen's gone to put some more milk in his tea. The gel phrase is here. <laughs> I'm smelling it and it's making my eyes run already. I've got my tikka masala. So before we go any further, before Stephen gets back, just take a closer look, my friends. Right, so there you go, my friend. Stephen's back with us now. So uh, we're going to do the thumbnail, which is the fun bit, which is where I basically get the special guest to make a complete bell end of themselves. So over to Stephen. OK. Can we get more noise? Boom, oh, boom, oh, boom. Oh. Louder. It's hot. I've got to blow it. Bit louder. Can you go, ah, 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 ah. Now look shocked. Because if it's hot, as if it's spicy, which it's not. Right, do you know what? I'm going to be quick with mine, because mine's the tikka masala. I'm going to dispense it out of the dish there, like that. There we go. Get all that out there. Piping hot. Um, can't believe. Is it at every Weatherspoons that, the, uh, that they've stopped the steak and, and that? Or is it just this Weatherspoons? Let me know in the comments section down below. We've got the rice there, not stuck together like when I went with Ange. And we've got the uh, we've got the naan there as well, and we've got the poppadom underneath as well, with a little bit of mango chutney. But I'll tell you what we're going to do first is, I'm just going to get mine out of the way, because um, I'm going to hand you over to Stephen. That, it's very nice. Actually, it's not bad that, to be fair. Let's hand you over to Stephen anyway, see what he thinks. Yeah, it actually looks really, really good, though. Yeah, and I think I'll do the same as you. I'm going to tip that onto there, yeah? Yeah. This is the uh, the gel frazy that I've gone for. 
Apparently it's the hottest one they do, but uh, not, not very spicy. Do you reckon it's not that spicy? I have been to some a few Indian restaurants as well, but I'm always scared off by the really spicy stuff. But Lee said, "Ah, oh, you'll be all right. It's a wedge spoon. You can you can go for the top spicy stuff, and it, it won't burn your mouth." So, so go, go for it. Let's have a look. Dig in there. Let's try a little bit of this, shall Don't we? Don't let me stop you, Stephen. Oh, it's a bit, I think I need to blow on it a bit. It's a bit warm. It's a bit warm. <laughs> Is there any spice coming through? Oh, a little bit, yeah. Um, dig in a little bit of salt. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Get a bit of rice as well, just to... I'll probably regret this later, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> That's just rice there, Stephen. Have a little bit of this sauce there. Dig a load of that sauce in. That's it. Get that down your neck. That's it. There we go. <laughs> I think it's probably going to have an after effect, this, isn't it? I can tell. Has <laughs> it got a little bit of burn on there? A little bit. <laughs> I'm going to let you into a secret, Stephen. So I went up to the bar and the uh, the, <laughs> the lady said, um, yeah, Joel Fraser. I said, yeah, that's not, I told him it's not very spicy. And she went, no, it's really hot. She said, do you want me to change it? And I said, no. She said, it'll make, it'll make for a better video. <laughs> He's gone a bit red there. <laughs> How's it going, Stephen? You got a bit of a dab on? <laughs> Whoa. Right, so we'll, we'll leave Stephen to suffer there. I've got the tikka masala. Um, you've got chicken in here. Fair, about, fair amount of chicken, really, for a tikka masala. Here's your, your chicken. Nice white bit of chicken on the inside there. Mango chutney. Got me, me naan there, look. Mm. You can have plain or garlic. Stephen's got garlic there. Laced, layered and laced. And you've got your uh, poppadum. Great, thank you. Um, poppadum's a little bit. That's not, I'm going to say that's not overly crispy. All right. Mango chutney. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm laughing at Stephen behind there. <laughs> he is struggling a little bit. If there's no walk on the wild side tomorrow, it's because he's in the bathroom. <laughs> Make sure you head over and subscribe to this guy. He really is a sport. Right, I'm going to eat the rest of this and then we'll mark it out of 10. <laughs> I think I'm getting used to it now. <laughs> right, well, apparently the laugh's on me because Stephen's been having me on. He says, ah. I says, is it hot? He went, nah. He says, I've actually eaten a... Uh, well, I'll let you, him tell you in a minute. He's been to a place called the Gurkha and... Uh, it's absolutely fine. He's not, he's not a spice wuss like me. Oh, the joke was on me. I don't know. Anyway, mine's all right. It tastes all right. I got two poppadoms as well. How many poppadoms did you get? One? I got two. You got two. You got two poppadoms. Hmm. Anyway, I'll hand you over to Stephen in a minute. Right, okay, let's do this quickly because it's raining and my microphone's getting wet. I'm soaked and I need to get back 180 miles down south. It's a bit of a trip, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It is. So, I reckon uh, it wasn't a bad curry. Uh, do you know what? Disappointment about the steaks, but it's only the Weatherspoons at Blackpool at the seafront, isn't it? Or yeah, the, just the, this, it, the guy said it was just these Weatherspoons in Blackpool that don't do the steaks. Yeah, so yeah. our life was at stake after we went down Blackpool's most <laughs> dangerous... <laughs> Street on the way what, to Weatherspoons. Some of those characters that we met along the way, my goodness. I think some of them, <laughs> they should be inside. They shouldn't be on the streets, I'm telling you. 
it got a bit spicy in Blackpool. Um, do, you, do you know what? It's not the best curry in the world, is it? It's, fre- it's probably frozen. But I've had worse curries at some Indian restaurants, to be honest. I think the poppadoms were a bit uh, soggy, uh, but the naan bread was all right. The curry was fairly nice, tasty. Uh, the rice wasn't sticky, it wouldn't stick together. So I'm going to go with, and price-wise, I think it was 22 quid or something uh, for, for both. I reckon, and you could have had as many teas as you wanted, couldn't you? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go with a 7.5. Yeah, you know what? I think I was a bit disappointed when they said they weren't doing the mixed grill, but to, to try an Indian, and I'm not a big fan of Indian food, but I tried the chicken jowl crazy, and I was actually pleasantly surprised. Very, very and look, like you say, it's better than some Indian restaurants, the actual curry that they do here. It was surprisingly good. And like I said, a little bit disappointed with the poppadoms because they were a little bit soft, weren't they? Yeah. But apart from that, it was actually really, really good. And here's another thing. It wasn't quite as hot. I was making it up there. It wasn't <laughs> it, it, it wasn't really that. The joke was on I've me. had a lot hotter than that. The hottest curry or the hottest curry I've ever had is at the Gurkha in Blackwood. It's a buffet restaurant. That's definitely in fact it's got a it's got a warning on it <laughs> it warns you, don't try this in, in, we'll have to go and try it then <laughs> get well, you three you yeah i think it was pretty good um, i'm going to give it an 8.5 oh wow there you, hey, there you go i have to say by the way the staff's very nice here and the guy came over and he said you're not filming here and i said we are he said just don't get the stuff and you can film whatever you want and they were nice uh, so uh, there we go so i filmed here before i said i know uh, watch this film the the christmas one so there you go. So I'm saying hi to It's a great pub, by the way. Excellent inside. Good selection of beers. And uh, I'm, my arm's aching now, so can I go? <laughs> can you give me a lift back to my car? Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to this guy, Walk on the Wild Side. I'll put his link at the end and the description down below. Can you say down below? Down below. Down below. Down below. Down below. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.